I had to stop by CBS Mornings with my girl Gail King. Uh, look at that dress right there. Gail King, Nate Burleson, and Tony, uh, Tony Duca, Tony Duca, how do you say Tony's last name? Uh, DeCoppel. DeCop, DeCop, De Tony DeCoppel. DeCoppel, Tony, Sherry, you, it's okay, DeCoppel. Tony, this is one thing I gotta say to Tony. I love Tony so much on CBS Mornings. You know when you come to Hollywood, you gotta change your name so everybody can pronounce it. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Tony, this is redunculous. They got your name phonetically spelled in the prompter. Everybody changes their name. Tony Martin Sheen changed yeah. his name. Whoopi Goldberg. It's, yeah. Whoopi is easier to say than Karen Johnson. Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> Jamie Foxx changed his name, so Tony DeCapal. DeCapal. DeCopal. DeCopal. Yes. Tony, Tony, you're you saying it's so wrong. You're confusing me now, okay, Sherry. I am so sorry. <laughs> Tony. You gotta come on the show so you can show me how to say your name so we can say it 10 times, because he's cute. Tony, everybody be loving Tony and Nate. My gosh. So I just have to say, I enjoyed myself with Nate, Tony, and Gail. And you know, because Gail is best friends with uh, Oprah. And so when she, oh my gosh. So when, when uh, Gail came in my dressing room, I said, has Oprah been talking about me? <laughs> and I did. I asked Gail, I said, the next time you go to Hawaii, can you make me your plus one? I would love to go. And so I also got to share with Gail uh, each morning that when I stand behind those doors, uh, John is with me and he's holding my hand. And we pray for you, the audience that is watching us, and we pray for you, the audience that is in the chairs. And... We hold hands and we pray that you feel better than when you came and sat here and that you feel better than when you turned on the TV. Um, Cause that's one thing that we talked about that's really important to us because blessings don't just affect the person, it affects everybody. So we want you to get these blessings too. So, I, Gail, let me share that. And the cool thing about CBS Mornings is they got the most amazing set, y'all. It is in the studio that used to be home to MTV's TRL, and it overlooks Times Square. And let me tell y'all something about this dog on set. You walk in, there is a big gold dog sitting there on the floor. Look, a gold dog with the chain. They got dark blue velvet walls with gold chains hanging from them. I'm telling you, it screams sexual decadence when I walk in CBS morning. I am telling you, everything, and they didn't, they didn't, nowhere, they didn't change anything, so it's like all of this sexual decadence. So I'm sitting here going, every time Gail walks through the hallway, the spirit of sex is on Gail. Look at her. Look at the way Gail dressed. Look at that dress. Gail has the spirit of sex on her. And then, I'm sitting here and I could just, I could feel the sexual tension when I was sitting there with all of them. And so I'm walking through the hallways and then I see a swing. They have, I'm gonna call it the sex swing. They got a swing <laughs> on the set. Y'all, and I'm gonna tell you the spirit of sex is all over CBS Morning. Cause look, you see where my hand is? Right on Gail's side. Right on Gail's side. And I kept saying to myself, why can't I take my hand off Gail's thigh? <laughs> Sex just all in the air. So, I, you know, I know we got a budget over here at the Sherry Show, but do you think that Debmar Mercury would put a sex swing somewhere in our, <laughs> on our set? I, I don't know that a sex swing would translate in daytime. Maybe Sherry after dark. Well, then we gotta do a Sherry after dark, cause I, I want that swing, cause I'm telling you, Gail's thigh never felt so good when I was feeling that thigh. I, I gotta tell you.